With iScan's native programming features, your shop is able to code or program many modules on BMW vehicles. Normally, BMW requires programming of every control module that has an available software update. iScan has the ability to selectively code and program control modules. You can either program all modules, a group of modules, or a single module. In this video, we're going to install a new footwell module, FRM, in this BMW 335i E92 chassis. When installing the new FRM, the module must be properly encoded to finalize the repair. While we always encourage installation of a new OEM footwell module or FRM, in certain situations a used module may be a suitable replacement option. When installing a used FRM, programming is required to overwrite the VIN. Coding is also part of this process. Let's get the new FRM installed. Make sure the negative battery cable is removed and insulated to prevent accidental reconnection. To begin, we're going to remove the driver's side door sill trim. Oftentimes the uh, clips will get stuck in the body and all you need to do is pop those out and put them back on the trim. Uh, and in this case there's a total of seven clips. Next we're going to remove the left kick panel and to do that we're going to first get the hood release handle off of that. The fastener for the handle is a Phillips head screw. There's another screw behind the handle here, another Phillips head screw that needs to be removed. Next we're going to pull the panel away from the body. There should be a few clips holding that on. And we'll disconnect the electrical connectors. Now you can see the bottom of the FRM right here. Now that the panel's off, we have access to our footwell module. Uh, there are three connectors on this module and two plastic 10 millimeter nuts that hold it to the body. Uh, I find that to get to some of these connectors, it's easier to pull the module away first. The mo module is slotted so you can loosen the upper nut since it's difficult to get to, remove the lower nut and just slide it away. Now the connectors have a locking tab and a lever. You release the locking tab and pull the lever out. The connector will come right off. Then remove the module. Now that we've got our new module, it comes in an electrostatic bag and you want to leave it in the bag until it's ready to install. And remove it from the bag and we'll get the connectors on and get it in to the studs here. And we have our 10 millimeter plastic nuts. We're going to get started. Remember the upper one is just loosened, so it's already on for us. We'll tighten that up and we'll get the top one. It's a little bit difficult to get. And get that tightened. I've installed the new module. Next up, we're going to encode it. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Be sure you're connected to a suitable vehicle power supply. Tap Diagnostic. Tap Euro. Tap BMW. Tap Coding Programming. Select the chassis of the vehicle you are working on. In this example, we are working on an E92 chassis. Tap ECIP. 
Normally, vehicle info would be automatically displayed. With a new FRM, we have to manually select the vehicle. Tap Enter or Exit to continue. Tap 3 Series. Verify the VIN displayed in the CAS is correct. Tap CAS. Tap System Select. Tap Body System. Tap FRM. In the FRM, it will give you the following options. Encoding, Programming and Encoding. Tap Encoding. Tap Enter to begin encoding. The module will be encoded. This could take a few minutes. You will receive a success message once complete. Tap Enter or Exit. After encoding, be sure to perform any necessary initializations. This can be done in the iScan service function menu or performed manually. Thanks for watching and check our other videos for more BMW repair procedures.